Okay, so we're reading, um, I'm sorry, the assignment Plains Indians continued. And it says to reread the passage, the Plains Indians. I've put it down here for you through any flip. It says focus on identifying how the Plains Indians culture connected to the land on which they lived. So they want to know how the Plains Indians, um, how their culture, the way that they did things connected them to the land. And I put in bold red, think about the animals that they followed, why they followed them and all the other animals that they used for living, because that's where all the information is. How are they connected to the land in which they live? They're connected because of the animals. And then when you look in these passages, you're going to see that the animals have a huge effect on them. They uh, talk about specifically here in this paragraph, they talk about how they use the buffalo and what they're used for. Okay. And then over here, um, let's see. They again talk about that they, they used the land to plant corn, it says, but they eventually gave up the farming and ate mostly buffalo, elk, antelope, and deer. So I'm going to, um, oh, and I'm sorry, it says also they added fruits and nuts to their diet, which they would have gotten off of the land also. So when we're answering that question about um, how did the Plains Indians culture connected to the land on which they lived, we can talk about that here and provide details because here you're going to be filling in this student response sheet and it says read the key question then read the passage the key question is this right here look for details about the native americans culture that will help you answer the key questions circle underline those details in the passage well we're not going to actually circle or underline it but you can read through it and find the information now i did provide you a hard copy which is a piece of paper that has the passage on both sides. So you can underline or highlight there, but if you're gonna use the virtual one, which is just the book that's through any flip, you won't be able to highlight or underline, but you will be able to use the information by going back and forth between the book and then that, okay? It says, now look back at your passage, write the details you circled or underlined on the web wheel. Again, we've already answered questions about it the day before. So you probably already know all the answers, but um, we can, through reading the passage, you can get the rest of your answers, okay? And then you can just come back here and fill it out. So it says for you to write your details here, just click in the box, and ways in which the culture is connected to the land. Well, we know it has to do with the animals, and the animals are very important because without the animals, they could not survive. And so that's what they're asking you to put here, details about how they were connected to the land by the animals. And we already know that when we looked back here, that it tells us about, let me enlarge this for you. It tells us about how they used uh, buffalo, elk, antelope, and deer. So those are three different animals. We also know that they added these specific things to their diet, which then we know that they got from the land. And then you cannot just say that they are connected because of the buffalo, elk, antelope, and deer, and then these additional items down here, the fruits and the nuts. You have to tell us why. Specifically, it gives us information down here about the animals and... Um, it also provides, uh, there's no specific information about fruits and nuts, but you can imagine that they grow on trees. So you would need to fill that graphic organizer out. So write a detail here. So one detail could be in a way that they're connected to the land. Um, they hunted buffalo for their hide and their food. Another thing, you could talk about the other items that they uh, got off the land, and I don't want to be specific, but I kind of already was, so you should have that. But the other things that they received from the land to use as food, and then other animals that they hunted and what they did. So you would fill those in, in these details. It says, think about the key question, which is this right here. Write your answer to the key question using what you've learned in your, what you have learned in the passage you read. So you're gonna take all this information and you're going to write a response to ways in which the culture is connected to the land. And you would say the culture is connected to the land because or by, and then you're going to 
tell me why. It will be more than one sentence because otherwise it would be a very long run-on sentence. So I'm thinking between two and four sentences.